<laughs> in coffee houses. That was happening, right? Uh, and it wasn't happening in a commune or a squat or a punk house. It was happening in a fucking state capitol <laughs> building. Okay? That's like, you know, okay, so you got to do both, though. Okay, so you, you got to make those. You got to make those spaces where your imaginations can be realized, where you have, uh, you know, a kind of um, uh, social forum, right? That's unofficial. It's not a conference. It's it's just a place where people can go and share their rumors and check in with each other and figure out why are you there and who, what story it is, or to perform or to do your poetry or whatever. Right? You got to create. You got to keep on creating those kinds of spaces. But unfortunately, you know that, that we, we do have this thing called the state, <laughs> and uh, you know there's this kind of like a really brute authority that it wields that we somehow have to like chip away at and wrest control over <coughs> from the, the regressives, and uh, you know, you know, like we, we have to deal with it. Right, because it, it, it's running so many aspects of our lives. Okay, so you have to do both these things. I mean, that's my position, and I, I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's well within the capacity of humans to do these things. Um, and so that question about, well, you know, the, the beneficiaries, or you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I don't get hung up on that question. Yeah, I mean, to me, uh, you know, I think the, the, the Democrats become uh, the, the beneficiaries. Uh, I mean, I think that's that means that we're even if even our goal, some some people's goal is not to just get Democrats elected and just get more power for the Democrats. I mean, it's sort of it, it means that there's something that is changing within when people. I, mean, I think it's like a, a, a side effect. I mean. Um, to me, you know, what's less less important about whether worrying about whether or not the Democrats, uh, you know, if we just took all this radical energy and gave it to them. I mean, to me, what what, what most mattered in Wisconsin was seeing average people understand that they have the power to change their lives when they act with other average people. Um, and like maybe some of those people decided to, uh, you know, give that. Work for the Democrats for a recall campaign, but I, I think the, the the bigger point uh, is that they have a new sense of, of what they're capable of, and I think that is what's far more important than worrying about whether the Democrat the radical energy got sucked up by the Democrats. We should think about that, but the, I think the more important point is how people were changed personally outside of Democrat, Republican, radical, whatever. I'm not. someone who spent time with, you know, conventional electioneering. Uh, I have a confession for a, a, a woman that I spent this for about four years. Uh, I'm a former member of the state Democratic Party Executive Committee. Uh, I ran for that and, and won twice. And, you know, I've, I've worked Democratic electoral politics. Um, I'm also pretty comfortable in, in, you know, much more radical spaces and, uh, and taking direct action in civil disobedience. And, you know, like I said before, movements have many faces. Um, and I think one of the things we're trying to tease out channel um, so much more left-wing and radical sentiment into um, what is often a very de-radicalizing mode of operation in, in electoral politics and, and just the, the democratic process in general. Um, and the, the real instrumental answer to your question, brother, is that um, I think people are recognizing that in these recall elections, which by the way, we're on Republican turf. Um, these are seats we couldn't even win when Barack Obama was on the ballot. We only kicked ass in these places with some folks who were doing some amazing things, not going to making phone calls. I, I, I'm just so impressed with, with what happened. The analysis coming out of that is we built an independent political operation that labor ran and controlled that was entirely outside the structure of the institutional Democratic Party. And people are looking at that saying, maybe this has some legs to it. Maybe we can think about what to do with this. Um, and people are thinking a lot about what to do with that. So I hold that hope that what's at the root of your question about creating some more left-wing space in the Democratic political arena, I suspect that's what you're asking about. I, I think it's possibly there. I think people are willing to run. I, I think there's six Republican uh, members of the House of Representatives 
that were extraordinarily heroic by standing up to their own party and the governor to vote against this god-awful bill. And that we should, because they're going to be challenged from the right, and we need to support them in their primary elections. I, I think the biggest failure of the left, and I just moved here from Oshkosh, Wisconsin three weeks ago. Oh, no, shit. But Oshkosh. <laughs> 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 Nina. It's, it's, it's our failure to engage the working class base of the Republican Party. That's where we should channel our left-wing politics and energy, is to grab their base and steal it away from them. In the evangelical churches, and in, in the bars, and the wherever, in the baseball teams, and the soccer leagues, is to steal the base, because those people shouldn't be following a corporate agenda. You know, they're, but, but we haven't, over 20, 30, 40 years, we haven't, we've gotta get, put our rhetoric away, and have conversations with those people without any rhetoric and listening more than we talk, because that's how we change people. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Just really quickly, I'm, I'm really intrigued by, um, you know, I've done a lot of work with media organizations in Wisconsin and independent media around the country, and I've heard a variety of responses from different media organizations as to how the Wisconsin protests were covered. And for those of you who were there or know resident in Wisconsin, like, how do you feel the media response? Like, what are your thoughts?